So today we are going to look at subtracting two digit numbers and we are going to start by finding the complements of 20. Okay, so that's what we are going to start with, finding the complements of 20. So the first thing we are going to look at, we have the monsters over here and we are going to ask ourselves how many monsters do we have as you can see these monsters are 20 they all add up to 20 so we want to find the complements of 20 so like for example let's find out this one is 20 20 take away what will give you which number there is over here so uh, i'm going to click as you can see we did not remove any monster so which means 20 to this what do you think the number is if we have 20 over here 20 monsters and we have removed zero zero means nothing so it means we did not remove any monster if we did not remove any monster how many monsters do we have remaining so the monsters we have are 20 which means 20 take away 0 20 okay So what if we have the monsters, we have 20 monsters, so the 20 monsters are here, what if we have the 20 monsters, so these are the 20 monsters and then we are going to remove some of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have removed 11 monsters before they were 20 monsters but now we have removed 11 which means we had 20 monsters but how many monsters did we, did we remove 11 if we have 20 monsters and we have removed 11 monsters how many monsters are remaining how many monsters do you think they are now so what you're going to do you will count from 11 count on from find the next 10 finding the complements of 20 which means 11 when you're counting from 11 11 12 13 so it's 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 how many steps did you count how many one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Which means 20 take away 11 is nine. We are going to take the small number to count on to make the next 10. Finding the complements of 20. Okay, so let's try again another one. So we are still using 20 so let's say that um, I have 20 monsters okay as you can see they are all 20 monsters this time round I want to remove some monsters so let's start one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, twelve. So this time we've removed twelve monsters. We had twenty monsters, and then we removed twelve monsters. How many monsters do we have remaining? Remember what I told you? You have to count this number to make the next ten, the complements of twenty. So twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. How many steps did you make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. So the answer is 8. Okay. Now, now that we've done that, let's try now to use our number line. The number I have here is 20, take away 14. Remember what I told you? You're not going to put 20 in your head and then you count backwards. This one we are preparing you for big num bigger numbers like 30, 20, 32. So what we are going to do, we are going to start by putting 14 in our heads and then we count on. So we've been counting on, so we're going to start counting on from 14 to find the next 10, which is 20. So we are going to use our number line. I am standing in 14. So you can see I am standing in 14 over here. How many steps will I make from 14 to reach 20? How many steps? So we're going to start counting from 14. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. How many steps are those? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which means 14, okay? 20 take away 14 is 6. And then 14 plus 6 is 20. So which means if we start from 14 and then we count on up to 20, we have 6 steps, 6 jumps to reach 20. You're going to jump 6 times so that you can reach 20. So which means we found our answer to be 6. What about if you have 20, take away 7? So let's try this one. We are going to stand in 17. Sorry. So it is 20, take away 17. So, 17. so let's start. One, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, uh -huh, 15, 16, 17. So that's where we're going to start. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we are looking at how many steps do we make to reach 20. How many more steps are we going to make to reach 20? When you start counting from 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. How many steps are those? One, two, three. Three steps. So you have three steps to reach 20, which means 20 take away 17. 20 take away 17 is three. What I'm trying to explain is if you are given a bigger number now like 32, take away 29, what you're going to do is you're going to take 29 and count on to the next 10. For example, let's use our number line again. We are going to stand in 29. So, 
we are going to stand in 29 this is 29 So this is 29. How many steps do we need to make 30? Remember, we are going to look at 29, okay? It is 30, 32. Thirty-two. Okay? Thirty-two take away twenty-nine. So if we have 32 take away 29, we said we're going to start with the small number, which is 29. The smallest number between, between 32 and 29 is 29. So we're going to take 29 and we count on to the next 10, which is 30. You're going to see that you only made one step. 29, 30, one step. Okay? So from 30, how many steps do you have to reach 32? 30, 31, 32, which is two more steps so from 29 to 32 how many steps are those let's count one two three so your answer is three that means 20, 32 take away 29 is three did you understand what i'm trying to say is when you are told to subtract two digit numbers and you've been given a bigger number always start with the number that is smaller to count on count on to the next 10 so that you can find the answers okay so So what about when you are given 52? This is 52. Take away 48. So 52 take away 48, what is the number? We said we are not going to start with 52 counting backwards. We are going to start with 48. So as we start with 48, we are going to see how many steps do we make to the next 10. We start with 48. How many steps do we make to the next 10? So again, we are going to use our number line. We are going to stand in 48. Okay, so if we stand in 48, how many steps do we make to 52? Okay. So. So I'm going to stand in 48. So 48 is over here. So that is 48. And then you're being asked, you take away 52, take away 48. So we, if you're going to take away 52, take away 48, we're going to stand with start with 48. We count on to the next 10, which is 50. And then from 50 again, we will count how many steps do we make from 50 to 52. So we have 50, 48, so we have 48. Mm -hmm. Then 49, 50. How many steps are those? Those are two steps. One, two. So you have two steps. 